Hi everyone, welcome to Deb House Crafty Cottage and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States of America. So I'm here today to bring you a card from the Floating and Fluttering Photopolymer Stamp Set by Stampin' Up! This is in the January to June mini catalog and it is on page 61 and also it's a bundle um, but this is going away as of the 30th of june or sooner because it's going to be while supplies last and starting on tuesday june 1st the dies will be 50 percent off i finally got around to playing with this and i'm sorry i didn't get to do it sooner because i love this set this is a wonderful set and i'm going to show you how to use it today you uh, doing this card so this is coastal cabana and bermuda bay and this is the true love designer series paper which is also going away by the end of june so it's all black and white florals on one side and then other patterns like dots and stripes and things like that on the reverse um, and then this is from the floating and fluttering the uh, the outlined rectangle uh, the a happy hello is from sunny sentiments which is in the new annual it's right here happy hello to you but for the card we're going to do now we're going to use peaceful moments and this happy birthday instead because I always need birthday cards and I've got to get better at sending them out all right so let's just put this over here I have all my stamps out and the first thing we have to do is stamp our butterflies now you could do this if you're mass producing you could do this in the stamp apparatus um, you don't need to though and I'm using memento tuxedo black to stamp the butterflies and I'm just going to ink it up really good to make sure I get good coverage but not like overly amount you know I think I need to re-ink my my pads even though I did it not too long ago but I use it all the time now I actually see where I did not get too good right in here on this butterfly so I'm going to go over it again there we go so I want the black to be black not fuzzy gray right still looks a little wonky there in the middle hmm definitely time for a re-inking okay we're gonna try it all right and I have this handy dandy air hockey puck thing that my friend Paige sent me I was like what is in this envelope it's so bulky and that's what it was and it's great for the stamparatus I've been seeing videos of people making their own but this works really well so if you can find an air puck hockey puck that works great and there we go isn't that beautiful now here's the thing with this set it had it's a two-step it's actually a three-step that was step one <laughs> now each of these butterflies and leaves actually have um two stamps so we're going to do the big one first and i'm going to use coastal cabana and bermuda bay get those colors out and we're going to ink up this sort of solid looking one now those of you that know me know I am not the best ooh, sorry at um, two-step stamping but I found these to be relatively easy and forgive me if my head is in the way I think I've got it maybe <laughs> ah, look at that isn't that gorgeous no coloring required because it does it for you and then there's this funny looking one i don't know if you can see it and we're going to do um bermuda bay on oh goodness me i hope i did costa gabbana on there i, I don't know it doesn't really matter this is just going to be a darker version and it's just going to overlay in here make sure I'm in the thing I think I am look at that 
Beautiful, right? If I can do this, you can do this because I am not good at two-step stamping, but this set works for me. I love it. All right, so the next one is going to be the one, uh, this one here, and we're going to use, sorry, I have kind of a disaster happening here of stuff falling. Okay, there we go. Um, we're going to use this one, and it has this, and for that one, I used Daffodil Delight and Granny Apple Green. You can use any colors that you want. All right, so we're going to do the solid again first. And I just I'm trying to make sure I'm within those nice solid black lines. I think I got it. Yes, I did. <laughs> Two in a row. Oh boy, I don't know. My luck might change soon. Now this one has a little more overlay color um, than the other one. I'm just checking where the body is, and I think I got that too, I hope. Man, I might have gone out on that one a little bit. Not bad. Not bad. I did not, really. Well, a little bit. Not bad. Okay, now I think um, I'll get rid of the yellow, and I'm going to do Coastal Cabana again, but then... Um, I'm going to overlay it with the Granny Apple Green also. And that one is this funny looking blobby thing. And this, which at first I didn't know what that was, but I figured it out. You just have to play around. So anyway, this is the one. It's a sideways wing. Same thing. I'm a little off on that. I'm actually going to try and do it again. So it'll be a little dark. But I think it's okay. Nah, I'm not getting up high enough. Oopsie. Just really pressing up at that top edge. It's not... Hmm. I clearly cannot see, I guess. Okay, I'm going to give up because I'm not seeing right. Okay, now I'm going to go in with Granny Apple Green. My cat's tail is tickling my legs. <laughs> Maybe we'll cover, be able to cover that with Granny Apple Green. Hmm? I'm going to go down with that. Yeah, it's all right. We're going to cheat. We're going to bring out Light Bermuda Bay just fill in where I missed. There's a little trick for you. Where you could use your stamp and write markers, but all fixed. Well, almost. Okay, so now there's even colors for the leaves. Sorry, let me clean them off better. Okay, so we're going to use just jade for the leaves. Isn't that beautiful? Look at those butterflies. And like I said, you can do any uh, two-step colors that you would like. I actually did do some in, um, I don't know what I did with them right this moment. Oh, here they are. With uh, Calypso Coral and yellows like that. And this is in Calypso Coral. I haven't used them yet. That one there I messed up. But this one is Melon Mambo. Uh, and Calypso Coral, and then these leaves are just jade as well. So we're going to do the leaves now. And we have this one and this one. You only need two because these two work with the same stamp. So let me turn this. And here we go. It lines up really well. Oops. Except I didn't push down. And of course I mess it up when I go back in to do it again. 
Okay, not bad. All right. Okay, let's see if I can do better on this one. There we go. And then this is this funny looking one here. It's a little bit off, but it's not bad. And if I wanted to, I could take my Just Jade marker. In fact, let's just use our Stampin'. That's not the right one. Stampin' right. And we'll just touch this one up here a little bit. And this here. So see, you can do that or just try it, you know, a second time. It really doesn't matter if it has a little white. It makes it look a little more like um, watercolory, right? Okay, and now for the magic, guys. Oh, wait, we have one more stamping to do. And that is our square. So let me bring in my scrap piece. See, I already, the one that I did the first one. And I have this on the long block. Again, if you're going to be doing this, uh, several iterations, I would definitely um, put it in your Stamparatus and do it that way. But um, it this is works really well too. So I'm just going to put it down here. And it really doesn't matter if this is crooked because you're going to put the die on it. Um, however, we're going to stamp with Bermuda Bay the happy birthday. And I'm going to try and sort of get that right about here, a little not up in that corner. And again, this is out of peaceful moments. And there we go. All right, let's close up our ink now and we'll do some die cutting. All right, let me clean my stamps real quick. All right. So now the dies, here's the thing, you can, in fact I did that the first time, you can stamp it twice because you get two sets of these same dies. Alright, let me turn this around so I can see it. So here's another one exactly like it. Now if you only wanted one or two specific of these, you have the individual, um, that's not it, here. This one, this, this, and here is your funky looking greenery, and here's your two smaller greeneries. So you can do them individually, and then I did not use this one, um, but I like the idea of cutting them out all together. And then I'm going to show you, um, I did that first, and then I, I started using the individual dies to cut them apart, and I just thought, you know what, it's easier once you get these die cut to... Take your snips. Uh, if you want to leave them all together for your card, you can do that too. I'm using some green tape. Yeah, green tape, purple tape. I don't really like it. It tears the cardstock sometimes. But um, I'm trying to use it up so that I can get different. Okay, now I need my rectangle. And that's here, which I should put stamping up facing the right way. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. And I'll put that like that. Okay, I'm going to die cut these and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I just took my purple tape off and do you see what I mean? It tore the paper here. Luckily not on the image that I die cut in either case. But um, yeah, so that's why I don't really like that purple tape. So there we have it and this is how it comes out. Now, I want these pieces separate, so if I bring my dies back over, um, like I was saying, you could use these and cut them individually. You'll have to do them one at a time. It will cut the antennae off, and I don't really want that. So, I am going to use my um, scissors and just carefully go around... You might have to touch up a few things, but not too much really. So let's see that one. We have to maybe touch up 
make this a little more rounded here. That is antennae. And there. And then there we have it. And let's do this one here. This one's a little easier. And then over here. And here. And here. Now this one, you might want to go like that. And then let's take a peek and see. Okay, we just have to kind of touch up right here a little bit. And the rest looks fine. And let's do this leaf over here. And that one, um, has a few little n nubby things sticking out from the other butterfly that I cut off. So we're just going to trim them off. And there we go. And then let's do these two. You can use the Stampin' Up! paper snips. I reserve the pair I have for my ribbons. Um, so I don't use them for paper. If I get another pair someday, I'll, I'll use them for paper uh, instead of ribbon. But, um, you know, the second pair and I'll mark them with a charm or something or a piece of ribbon. <laughs> and these, I'm just cutting off some of the nibby things from when I cut the butterflies off of them. And that's that one. And then here... And here. And then this. Um, yeah, it's just a little bit right there. And round this off a little bit. And that one's good. And then the last one we just have to check here. I think this one came out pretty good. Maybe just a little more round here at the, at the uh, tail. All right, that's it, guys. There we have it. All right, pretty doggone easy if you ask me to get this beautiful set of butterflies. So let's bring our card stuff in. We're going to be using the True Love paper. This is cut three and three quarter by five. This is what's on the back which my camera won't like. And this is a piece of Bermuda Bay, cut five and a quarter by four. So the first thing is we're gonna glue that down. And then on the inside, um, I have a strip here that's five by a quarter. It's a scrap. I'm gonna glue that onto there. Let's do the inside first and get that taken care of. And it's just a piece of the designer paper left over from cutting this piece. Oops, get down there. All right, there we go. And then glue that down onto the Bermuda Bay. You wouldn't have to do that, but I like it to look uh, consistent with the front. And so it makes it a little thicker, but not terrible now and then we'll just glue this down and the bottom one I put a little more glue on to hold it onto the card which is again Costa Cabana and it's um, an A2 cut five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter um, just a standard A2 now let's glue this down if you wanted to put ribbon on um, the time to do that would be right after you glue this onto here probably um, and but before you put it down onto your card base and um, let's go ahead and put that down because I'm not putting ribbon on today
I'm and normally I would bump this up but I'm not going to I'm actually going to just glue it down and bump the butterflies up instead um, now I did a mistake on the first one I want my leaves up here I'm gonna glue them on here first and like that and then add a little extra glue there again and then glue it down okay there we go put it down about here and just make sure it's straight which of course Deb has to always double check that because she doesn't see straight apparently <laughs> okay and then this um, let me get my dimensionals put my glue away um, and you need your minis and your regulars I feel like and um, I put one here here and then I put a mini right in the middle here like a face see like two eyes and a nose <laughs> and that seems to work really well on that one and that's going right up here amongst these greenery pieces this one is going to go on a flower down here now this is different paper so i'll have it landing on that leaf instead now let me just double check something because yeah yeah that's what i'll do actually i'll move it down a little bit and have it land on this leaf and go like this okay that's what i'll do all right and this gets one two and again the face over here the nose and right here we're going to have it landing right on that leaf and then this one um, can take more big ones actually because it's got bigger bigger uh, wings and I might still want a little one right here <laughs> all right and then we have one more step and then we're done our card and it's beautiful I think um, so now we just need embellishments and I have them out somewhere here they are we're using the artistry blooms adhesive back sequins which carried over to the new annual and we're going to use the coastal cabana color and I only have a few left but I have another pack so yay and I'm going to use the pointy part of my take your pick and put a big one down here and um, a small one up here and actually I put a small one here and I'm going to put another big one up here put them all on the label like that and make a triangle oops I forgot to put my lid on and there we have it everyone that is the card isn't that gorgeous and so easy to do and you could put a little you could use glue dots to glue these down you could put a little more on there to hold them but I think they're fine and I just think they're both gorgeous right and easy to do so again this is the true love designer series paper that is retiring um, on or before the end of June June 30th um, and we're using here the fluttering floating and fluttering bundle and um, I, if you wait to June 1st, don't buy it as a bundle. Buy the stamp set for, let me tell you, this is in the United States, uh, the stamp set for 17 and then the dies for 1750 So that would cost you 3450 whereas the bundle right now is 4675 So that would save you some money and you get some gorgeous, gorgeous butterflies and a frame and um, another butterfly here that I didn't really try and like I said if you just needed one or two butterflies you could use the individual dies 
and cut them out um, instead of using this. But you've got two sets of this, so stamp it twice, do your two-step stamping, and you know, you pretty quickly have six butterflies and six pieces of greenery. So I think this is a wonderful set. I love it. I won't be getting rid of this um, for a while. <laughs> and you may see it again between now and June 30th, although I will be keeping my eye on uh, things as they, you know, sell out, then I won't be showing them anymore. But I just think it's gorgeous and I wanted you to be able to see that because I hadn't used it yet. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed. Have a wonderful day and I will talk to you again soon. Bye for now.